go. Ten seconds left in the stage. Come on, make it to them. Make it to them. Make it to them. This morning, we are at Stride headquarters, and I'm going to be doing some lactate threshold testing and a VO2 max test. The threshold information is really more what we're looking for today. Like a lot of people, just trying to make sure that the effort that I'm running for threshold is, is accurate, and this test will not only give me a good indication as to what my pace should be, but also what number millimoles my lactate threshold actually jumps up at, so that in training, when we're testing, even on days where pace might not be the best indicator, we can use the numbers that we get from the lactate testing meter that Coach Joan uses to make sure that I'm below the number I should be at to make sure that I'm training correctly. It's always fun to be in the lab. Uh, it makes you feel very professional, so it'll be a fun morning. <laughs> nice. Starting out with warm-up? Yep, yeah, so I'm gonna go jog about 20 minutes or so, just my usual pre-workout warm-up basically, mm -hmm. and then we'll get on the treadmill and KO will get me all hooked up. So basically the reason we do this is like, I say the VO2 max is like how big your gas can is, right? So like, we'll say like, this is 10 liters, this is 20 liters. So just looking at this, it doesn't really tell us that much. It just tells us how big the can is. It doesn't tell us how, many, how much gas is in that can, right? This could have 10, 10 liters of gas and this could have five. It doesn't mean anything. So what the threshold is, is how much gas is in that can. So say this one's up here and this one's here. Even though this one has more of a capacity, this one has more gas in it. Yeah. So this is someone who has a higher VO2 max but lower threshold. And this is someone who has a lower VO2 max but higher threshold. It can utilize more of that gas space in that can. Um, so the whole goal is for threshold testing is to figure out where this threshold is and then we're gonna train above and below it. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna push it up. Yeah. Nice. Um, so basically we're figuring out what your max capacity is and then where that gas level is. We're planning on six reps because we think that your LT2 or like max threshold yep. is gonna be between 505 and 450. Yep. Um, we'll see, maybe you'll surprise us and you're fitter than what we thought. So we're probably gonna do six times six minutes. It's just gonna be like basically like doing 2K reps with like short rest. Yeah. So after I take that mass from you, I'm gonna be like, hey Reed, what's your heart rate? And I'm gonna ask you what your RPE is. So RPE is a scale from zero to 10. 10 is like, I'm gonna die. Like I'm literally gonna die. Zero is like, I'm like asleep. Um, five I'd say is like going for like a, like a up tempo easy run. Yeah. Why is this not turning on? Okay, here, hold your meter. Uh, yeah. Meter. How are we now, our coach? First. Ow! <laughs> what a wimp. How does this guy I run did that. I did that to you one time, and you're like, "Did that actually <laughs> hurt?" It's like, no, coach. One point one. I can't read that. Yeah, yes. 1 .1. That's a relief. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, All right. Oh, you yeah. Yeah. 100% pure diesel. <laughs> High oh. octane fuel. What's the heart rate at? 133. Five. Two. Just relaxing, coach. <laughs> Ooh, I hope I make it. It's all fun and games now, Max. I don't remember anybody else having <laughs> this much, this so much uh, commentary. Know, this is how it's gonna be. Yeah. I'll be having a ball until we hit 420 pace, <laughs> and then I'll just be. <laughs> No, I'm abnormal. I'm a freak of nature. <laughs> Pinnacle of athletic performance. Uh, usually that happens. Low, okay. even lower. Okay. <laughs> Never Built seen it. different. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Use it. 
thing in my right ear. I mean, wheat. Zero point four. Okay. That's easy. We're going with that. Big hands, else? big personality. <laughs> but big hands. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> big feet. Big feet. <laughs> big socks. <laughs> big socks. Yeah. Big shoes. Big toes. <laughs> big shoes. Enormous feet. Okay. Well, you don't produce a lot of lactate. No. Nope. We are going to be here all day. <laughs> We have lift off. Yeah, Reed. <laughs> Good question, good question. 
got plenty in those legs. Come on, come on. Nice. As long as you can go, let's go, man. Come on, everything, everything. There let's it go, is. let's go, let's go. Come on, come on. Push, 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 push. Everything you got. Got it. Go, 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 go. Looking great, looking great. Come on, keep pushing, keep got pushing, it, keep got pushing. Got it, got it, got it. Everything. Let's go, Reed. Come on, you got 20 seconds. Yep. Let's go. Yep. Everything you got, come on, make it to the end. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Go, 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 go. Ten seconds left in the stage. Come on, make it to the end, make it to the end, make it to the end. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Yeah, we don't want him to fall. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy that man to keep going. <laughs> no, that was, that was literally like everything you could ask for. Yeah. See, he knows how to push himself like he does. all the way. <laughs> Great job. Oh, nine millimoles of lactate. <laughs> <laughs> he does produce it. Yeah. Great job. Dude. Okay, you're allowed to walk around and sit down, whatever. Jones is gonna be taking it every minute. I wanted to break two. Okay, it wouldn't let me. Huh? That would have been the first time I'd ran a two flat 800. <laughs> you let me go for five more seconds, Kale. It's okay, you gotta I don't know, keep me humble. You were starting yeah. to drift on the belt, and I was like, nah. Yeah. <laughs> I probably had 10 more seconds in me to go like total max, like force myself to stop. Were you getting any tunnel vision or anything? A little bit, yeah. yeah. I just knew it was gonna take a little bit for the tread to slow down. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's uh, a little different pain than I'm used to. <laughs> That's for sure. Well, Reed, your VO2 max is higher than I thought it was going to be. All right, what nice. What is it? It's a uh, 79.2. Out, or sea level. Key, 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 key. Sea level converted. That's over 80. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a monster. That's what can I say? Always have high, been. Always bro. will be. <laughs> but you know what that means? I got um, some room for improvement. You can push your threshold up even higher. We love to hear that. Hey, let's do it every week. Too. Yeah, once a week. You like hanging out now? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Maximal effort once a week. As long as I get to sit in this chair for five minutes after. <laughs> like you have like a good amount of room to push it up. Nice. Right? Yeah. So that's a great thing because it means your capacity or like your maximum capability is yeah. actually much higher than what you're at now. Nice. Yeah. But cool. it also means that I need to figure out how I get there. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right. So the goal in training would be to get, be able to bump this up, to be to push this to a higher percentage right. of his VO2 max to fill to fill the tank. With We're better, trying to fill the tank with more gas. Mm -hmm. Reed, what did you learn about yourself today? I learned that I'm a fat burning machine who needs to train hard. <laughs> yeah, it's cool to see. I mean, I think. A lot of us on the team, myself included, assumed that I would be very close to my threshold. Like my my gas tank would be very full. Yeah. And it was kind of interesting. It was the opposite. I have a slightly less full gas tank than everyone else, but I'm already capable of running at a higher threshold pace at the same effort. So what that tells us is basically that I need to do more threshold volume, get more efficient, get fitter, get stronger, and I have a higher ceiling than maybe we thought. So that's equally encouraging and like, oh man. <laughs> so that's cool and that's why we do this kind of stuff because sometimes it paints the exact picture we thought we'd see and then other times like this morning, it paints a little bit of a different picture where I know now that I can maybe be a little bit more aggressive and do a little bit more volume at higher intensity and see where it brings me.